everybody, it's Rebecca from Revenue, and it is Friday, which means it's the Revenue Rundown. <laughs> so every Friday we're coming live at you from the Municipal Services Building in Center City. We started, we started filming and literally the sun came out, which I feel like is a very good omen. Right now it's like winter, realized that it had us out of its sights and it is back with a vengeance. So today's, <laughs> we're, we're getting through today, a very cold January day. Uh, but every Friday we're coming to you live where we're talking about taxes. Last week we talked about real estate taxes. This week we're gonna talk about water, uh, a very exciting water project. My special guest today is Idris Abdul Zahir. Um, Idris is an IT manager and he helped put, he was our, our lead on the revenue side uh, for a really, really cool project that we're about to tell you about, about for, uh, to allow people to pay their water bills electronically. But before I get to that, um, I just want to remind people to like us and share, give us a thumbs up and make sure you share this video. This is something that, it's just a way that it helps um, boost boost the appearance of this video in, in your feed and in other people's feeds, and it just helps get the word out about really important stuff uh, for Philadelphians. Um, and one other quick announcement before we start our conversation. Sure. Um, Monday is Martin Luther King Day, which means that city offices are closed. However, uh, you can still find revenue, the revenue team in the community, and I will, I will talk about that at the end of the show, so stay tuned to hear where you can find us on Monday. Get your questions answered. Get um, get swag, uh, get get some information about programs that can help you. So I'll talk about that at the end. Um, but okay, here we go. So thank you for joining us, Idris. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm super. I'm super excited to talk about um, the new billing system for water because so many people have been asking for it yes. for so long. Um, this launched in October. Yes. And um, you were you were the lead for us. And can you now that it would spin live for three months? Can you tell us what's going on? What's happening with water billing? Well, I could I could tell you it's been a, a success and a huge hit. Um, our customers, um, you know, have responded uh, far beyond our you know our our, our early estimations. Um, far surpassed our early goals. Mm -hmm. So I can tell you right now we have about ninety one thousand wow. customers that have signed up uh, for the portal and about 82,000 that have, more than 82,000, have decided to go paperless, which is um, what they've been asking for. So uh, in addition to that, we had about over 16,000 customers who have uh, decided to also auto pay. So they okay. say and forget it and uh, pay their water bill automatically um, through this new portal. Um, and just to give you an idea, uh, we initially you know, had some did some comparisons for utility uh, e paperless or, or paperless building adoption across the country. Um, so we set a goal of about 8%. And uh, we're right now, after three months, we are at 14% of our customers have signed up and gone paperless. So we are ecstatic and about you know hundreds every day or every week are are signing up. So we are we are very, very happy about this. <laughs> and so just to back up for folks who maybe aren't totally aware, in October, the city, the Department of Revenue, in collaboration with our partners at the Water Department, launched electronic billing right. so folks can go online and create an account with the system and they can sign up for all kinds of different services. Right. Um, I'm going to hop down to just maybe you can talk about some of those services and then we'll get back to talking about where to find all that information. Yeah, sure. So some of those services uh, mainly include right, going online to manage your bill. Um, we've gotten you know lots of surveys over the years that have told us that our customers want to be able to manage their accounts, their water account online, lots of self-service self options and things like that. So uh, the main thing was paperless billing. They mm -hmm. wanted an electronic bill uh, delivered to them via email, and we have responded to that. So uh, what they can do first off is sign up uh, for paperless billing. They will get an email uh, every month that tells them when their bill is due, when payments are due. Um, they can also do auto pay, as we mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. so they can set it and forget it. Um, and also uh, do lots of things like uh, look at bill history. So you can look at uh, 13 months of bills online now. Uh, you don't have to come into our center or call us or you know do anything else. You can go to your online account, uh, you know, sign up, see 13 months immediately today. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can manage your account a lot better. Um, also make one-time payments uh, via check, which are free. Uh, via e-check and then also uh, credit and debit cards which cost a fee but it's a reduced fee from our previous uh, system. So 
Um, our customers have responded to it. They are happy about it. And uh, we're also going to have lots of information there uh, to allow them to also uh, get updates uh, via email and text message for payments and lots of different things uh, coming from the water department and also revenue. So, But wait, but wait, there's more. There's yeah. more. There's I mean, more. I know it sounds like we're kind of selling, uh -huh. we're selling some sort of kitchen gadget, mm -hmm. but the reality is this is totally free yes. for the customer. Yes. Um, it's a service of the city of Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. yes. um, it's completely free and you can pay completely for free if you're using an e-check. Yes. And you would go, remind me what the URL is. So you would go to www.phila.gov forward slash water bill. Mm -hmm. um, and that would take you to our main uh, page there. You could sign up uh, there. And also, if you don't want to sign up, you can still go there and make uh, one-time payments as well. Okay, so you don't right. have to actually sign up for an account if you don't want to. You don't want to, right. Okay, and we'll get to we all... We want you to. <laughs> we really want you to, but um, but you don't have to. Right. You can still use um, that, that service to uh, make one-time payments via credit or debit card. So we are... Okay, just to reiterate, that's www.phila.gov slash waterbill. Waterbill is all one word. There's no hyphen in there. And I know that um, Michelle... Um, our amazing, amazing office person is going to be putting that that um, information in all the comments. Mm -hmm. When you go to sign up, you need your nine-digit water access code, right? Yeah, so you need uh, two things. Uh, you need an email address, and you also need your nine-digit water access code, which is found on the bill, top right corner. Right, so if you, you've got your kind of your bill here, yeah. it's going to be in this area mm -hmm. right here. Uh, that's... Yeah, and that's all That's all you right. need. And so, right, and if you don't have a paper bill, you can email us and we can send you one or you can, you know, uh, get, get it off your paper bill if you have it at home, so. And if you, to email us, it's wrbhelpdesk at phila.gov. So it's wrbhelpdesk at phila.gov. Um, okay, so can we talk a little bit about auto pay? Because I think that makes people sure that makes people squeamish. <laughs> Maybe feel a little weird that like you're gonna get in. Now I think that's like one of the biggest things that people have said to me. Well, mm -hmm. I I don't want to set up auto pay because what if something happens? I get a leak. I suddenly have a gazillion dollar bill, mm -hmm. and and you're gonna automatically take that money out of my account. Yes. So I, you know, so I'm one of those people to also think that way as well, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. So so we thought about that and. So what we have done is we've added a feature where you can do a max payment option. Mm -hmm. um, so myself on my account, which I signed up for, I have $100 max pay. So um, even if I get a leak one month and the bill goes to 200 bucks, it's only gonna pay automatically pay $100. Um, and then I'll also get a notification telling me the bill is $200. I can find out why, I'll have my bill, I can see if the, that the usage was up that, that month. Um, and if I know I have a leak, then I know it's gonna be pretty high anyway. Um, so that typically will um, solve that issue. Um, if, you, if you put that max, use that max payment option, it will make sure that even if the bill is above that amount, it will not pay more than that amount. It will not pull more than that it amount that right, you have exactly. set. Right, All right, okay. Yep. I'm so, definitely one of those like set it and forget that. it. Yeah, me too, I'll, me too. Yeah, yep. so. Um, yeah. Well, and one thing, so for all of our customers mm -hmm. who were enrolled in our old kind of auto pay system, mm -hmm. ZipCheck, yeah. what, what happens to those folks? What's going to happen to ZipCheck? So we love our ZipCheck customers because um, they pay automatically every month too for our uh, checking account. Uh, it still works. It's, it's still around. And, um, but we want those folks to, to uh, come over to, come uh, to, the new system. to auto pay. Right. So, um, and, and that's because we have new features there. Like, mm -hmm. I, like I just mentioned, the uh, max, uh, max payment uh, option through auto pay. Um, but we have no intentions right now to, you know, make them move. Uh, so uh, what we will do, though, is that if they go to our new site, sign up for auto pay, we will automatically uh, cease the zip mm -hmm. check for them. There will be a pop up there. They will opt in and uh, we'll make we'll take their last monthly payment out of the zip check and then seamlessly move them over to auto pay. So there's nothing for them to do. They just sign up for the auto pay and we'll take it. Uh, we've automatically set that up for the transition. Right, so they, you don't have to worry about it if you sign up for auto pay, you mm -hmm. won't miss a payment. Right. Um, it'll just, the system will kind of update itself. The and, system will right. finish your last payment on ZipCheck and then uh, seamlessly move to your next uh, monthly payment with auto pay. And so for any folks who want a kind of a preview of that system or want to see what all this sort of looks like, we put together a really great YouTube video on our YouTube channel, mm -hmm. which is uh, youtube.com slash fill revenue. You can find it there. Uh, we've also been sharing that via email, but it's, it, and we'll put a link up in the comments of this, of this, um, this live video. It's, 
I have to say it's really great. Yeah. Our folks did it, so it yes. makes me really happy. Yes. Um, and just to clarify, for, you know, there's a lot of folks, uh, maybe somebody like, I don't know, my mom, uh, <laughs> who just are not comfortable doing online transactions like this. Mm -hmm. What if they don't want? They don't want this. They're not interested. Right. So uh, those who don't want to, don't have to. I mean, we mm -hmm. still want to accept your payments uh, via email, I mean, excuse me, not email, uh, mail, regular, yeah, regular mail, mail, right? Uh, uh, we'll take them in person here at the uh, Municipal Services Building and also by phone. So those are still active and still supported. Um, and this is just a new option for our customers who like to pay online. Right, and as the results have shown, there's a lot of people who are a really interested. If you're, if you are not interested, that is okay. <laughs> uh, we're still gonna offer, we'll always, we'll always take, um, Take take payment here in person or by mail, or you can, you can always get a paper bill. Right. Uh, some people really like getting their paper bill and right. putting it check in the mail. Right. But, but all the different the payment products. options are on the back of your bill. Mm -hmm. um, so those who still have the paper bill at any time that you want to use some other option to pay, all those options are there at the on the back of the paper bill. So they can uh, at some point if they want to, there's a different payment option. Right. Uh, we will to totally accept that as well. <laughs> so if you have any other questions about electronic billing. Um, um, and your, or your water bill in general, you can always email wrbhelpdesk at fill.gov. And you can also always call our hot, the hotline, which is 215-685-6300. You can also call that number if you, you need a copy of your bill. They will mail out a new copy if you've misplaced the last one that you got and you, you need a uh, your, your water access code. You can always call the hotline during business hours and we are, we are happy to answer your questions. Um, so, Thank you so much, Idris. This was really, really helpful. Well, again, thanks for having me. I'm very excited. Um, and just for all the folks watching at, at home or in your office, I hope, um, at the start of the show, I talked about that we're going to be in the community on Monday during the Martin Luther King holiday day of service. Um, last year, we did over 300 events in the community. So if you want us at your community event, maybe at your, at your church or your community center or your soup club or whatever that thing might be, we are there. If, uh, we can talk about small business stuff. We can talk about real estate tax programs. We can talk about water yep. and water assistance and water affordability programs. Whatever it is, we can we can be accommodating. You just need to reach out to us and we will get you on the calendar. Email Vicki Riley, V-I-C-K-I dot R-I-L-E-Y at fill.gov. Uh, we can see see what we can do. And so here are the events for this week. We will be on Monday on MLK Day, we'll be at the Girard College Armory starting at eight in the morning, bright and early. Also, State Rep um, Isabella Fitzgerald's MLK Day event is at 7210 Ogans Avenue in West, the West Oak Lane Senior Center. That's at 8 a.m. Reach out to her website if you have questions about that. And then, um, oh, here we go. The Nice Town CDC MLK Day event is at 4340 Germantown. That starts at 10, so you, you can hit all these. Right, exactly. Really, you can hit all <laughs> of them. <laughs> so on Tuesday, January 21st, is um, at 1 Feltonville. That's at 200 East Wyoming. We're going to be there in that at that event starting at 6.30 in the evening. And then on Wednesday, we'll be at the Asociación Puerto Riqueña in Marsh, APM, at 2318 Germantown Avenue. That's at 5.30 in the evening. So I hope you all have a really, really great Martin Luther King holiday. Um, I want to thank Michelle, Michelle, who's upstairs, taking care of all the links and all of the all of the comments. Thanks to Vicki Riley for all the outreach that she does. And a big thank you to Joseph, who's behind the camera. Yeah. Super, super big thank you, Idris. Thanks for coming to thanks talk to us. Me. And well, maybe we'll bring you, we can, we should bring you back. Anytime you want to have me, I'll be here. Great. Okay, okay perfect. <laughs> and we'll catch you next week. And always, you can reach out to us um, through direct messaging on social media. We're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, and you know we're on YouTube. And we'll look forward to seeing you next week.